So what we're gonna do today on Backcountry College is go ahead and set up a hammock with my tarp. But what I really wanna talk about is knots. We're gonna take a look at five knots that are gonna come in really handy, whether you're spending time in the backcountry or the backyard. Clay Hayes with TwistedStave.com and Backcountry Hunters and Anglers coming to you from North Central Idaho and bringing you another episode of Backcountry College. So I've got two trees here that are about 12 feet apart. I've got my tarp here. This is the same tarp we used for the tarp shelter uh, last season. So I'm going to go ahead and just spread this thing out, get started. Next thing I'm going to do is take half of this tarp and bunch it up right at the end just like that now I've got a shorter rope here that's already has a, a loop braided back into the end of it and I'm just gonna make a a loop like this if you don't have that in your rope you can tie a bowline which is uh, my go-to knot and we'll show you how to tie that in just a minute loop that over now what we're gonna do is attach this this tree right here. And I'm going to start with a bowling knot. So you make you a loop like that, put your tag in through, make sure that doesn't slip down. Come around and through. Pull on that. The, the great thing about a bowling knot is you can put, it doesn't matter how much pressure you put on this thing, uh, you can pull a truck out of the mud or, or tie a horse with it and have them set back and, uh, and you can get this thing loose really easily. That's the real um, advantage to a bowling knot. All right, so on this side, we're gonna do the same thing. <clears throat> we're gonna bunch up half the tarp But in, on this side, to attach this to this tree, instead of using a bowline, I'm gonna use a trucker's hitch. Now, I'm gonna do that because I need this thing to be very, very tight so it doesn't sag so much when I'm laying in it. Bring that around. Okay, so to, to tie a trucker's hitch, you make a loop and you bring your main line back through it and you want to get this as close to your your tarp as you can because you're gonna pull a lot of slack out of this thing So just like that now you bring your main line back around through this thing all right so the the great thing about a trucker's hitch is you can really crank down on something get back around here When you need something tight, this is the way to do it. Finish that off with a little half hitch. And she ain't going nowhere. So we've got blue skies right now, but just for the heck of it, I'm gonna take some of this excess rope here and run us a line up here so that I can throw this up over it just in case we do get a rain, it'll shed the rain a little bit better. Now we've got this loop right here and if we pull on that this is going to come loose so what i'm going to do is take a stick and put in here put a little bit of pressure on that uh, so that it doesn't come loose when we do get ready to take this loose all we got to do is break that stick and get it out of there and then we can pull it all right so i'm going to take this over here i'm going to tie a clove hitch So overlap your rope right there, bring this around, and then back under this 
rope here. And that's it. Nice and secure. So now we can just take this excess, flip it right over here. If you want to, sometimes you can take a, a piece of paracord and tie this so that uh, there's not a hole down here and the, sometimes moisture will try to get in there or mosquitoes if you're camping in the summer. So this will shed the rain pretty doggone good, um, but I'm gonna take it one step farther. I'm gonna take this corner here and I'm gonna first tie a sheet bend right in here with some paracord and then I'm gonna take it down here to a little peg I've got and we're gonna tie a tot line hitch right here. And we'll do the same on the other side just so it uh, holds it tight, makes kind of a little tent. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie a little sheet bend right here. It's super simple. Just go around, tuck that back in just like that. That's all there is to it. And I'm tying all of my knots so that you can just take this tag in and pull it and it's uh, loosened up. So I'm just gonna take this line Go down around our peg here. So to tie the tot line hitch, you just come around here, make a couple of overhand loops like that, and then you come back up and make one more above that. This knot is super cool because you can take it and slide it up and down this, loosen or tighten it, and it cinches on itself. It's kind of like a prussic knot that you use for climbing. Well, that's going to wrap us up for this episode of Backcountry College, but you don't have to wait for the next one. If you want to see more great videos, blog posts, and articles, check us out at backcountryhunters.org. And don't forget to check out our Facebook page as well. We'll see you there.